To make things faster, we are going to work with a single image, but the same workflow will also work on videos. First, we need to set the scale for an image because other nodes won't work unless the scale is the same across all nodes. Next, we'll add the segmentor, which is basically a preprocessor that paints different objects in the image in different colors. Now we want to divide the generated image into red, green, and blue passes and convert those to masks. We are going to add preview image nodes to see the result of the segmentor and hit the Q prompt. Next, we'll do the same for the mask nodes, convert each mask to image and send them to preview image nodes. Since we need the character in white color and everything else in black, none of these masks will work so we have to use mask composite nodes to subtract the mask where the character is closest to white color with the mask where it's darkest. Now we have removed the background from the mask, but we still have the rocks. Create another mask composite node and subtract the first composite node with the mask where the rocks are darkest. However, since the white color is the one that's subtracted, we need to invert this one with an invert mask node. We are going to preview it and send it into source input. The reason we got a completely black result is because in the inverted path, the character is not completely dark. So what we're going to do is create another node called binary mask. And this one basically turns everything above the threshold into white color. Let's try again. And now we have the character completely isolated. The last step is to turn it into white. And we'll use binary mask for that as well. Now we can test this on the original image with image composite masked node. Send the original image into destination input. Mask image into source input. And mask into mask input. And last step, invert the input mask. If you found this tutorial useful, let me know in the comments or leave a like. More tutorials will be uploaded in the coming weeks, so stay tuned and check back in a couple of days.